Pocket Bot's going to come on. You know, I was listening to um, something yesterday as I let my dog in. <laughs> anyway, uh, hey gang, Pastor Jerry, good morning. I was listening to a guy yesterday and he said that no matter how good you are, no matter how much you pray, no matter how much you go to church, no matter how much you work out, no matter how, how holy you think you are, sooner or later, something bad will happen to you. And we know that's true because of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so, but he said this, he said, when the bad things happen, the choice is how you react to it and how you respond to it. And by that reaction and response, as Christians, we know where we are spiritually. And everyone goes through hard times. Uh, it's cyclical. Uh, the Bible says that it rains on the just and the unjust. And so our responsibility is to be ready, not get ready. And if you're always ready, you ain't gotta get ready. And my wife always says that it's not the word that you know, but the word that you can live. And so many Christians know the word, but don't know how to live the word, don't know how to apply the word to their lives. So when bad things happen, they have to go and learn these things. And uh, it sucks. And um, so I wanna challenge you guys to um, take this first, I'm gonna give you all today. Uh, I know some people may be going through some hard things. I think I'm crooked. Oh, I'm so crooked. Okay, there we go. Anyway, uh, you may be going through some hard things. And uh, if you're not, this is your time to store up, to, to build up, to build up your armament, your spiritual armament. And so here's the verse. Be anxious for nothing, but through prayer and supplication, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And then later on in, in that same chapter, it tells you what things you need to think on to stay in peace. The, the Bible also says that he'll keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. And so if your mind isn't on Jesus, you won't be in peace. You may... Uh, be relaxed by listening to certain music. You may be relaxed by going to the beach or whatever, but it, it doesn't give you peace. Peace comes from the one who's the peace giver, who is peace. He's the prince of peace. And so when we talk about going through hard times, um, you need to go into hard times with peace. You can't try to acquire peace during the battle. Um, you must be in peace right now. So if you're not going through a hard time, if, if things are going fine, go ahead and acquire peace and apply the word. If you're going through a hard time and you haven't done that, then you need to go ahead and do it. And my wife put something on Facebook, or actually I put on there four, but she said something to the effect of the things that you go through right now maybe are, are they're always in, uh, necessary for growth and development. And that's easy to say when you're not going through it. Um, but I'm going through something right now. I'm going through a few things right now. But I refuse to let the enemy win. I'm going to outlast the devil. And so will you. And you have to make that determination that you will outlast the devil. Because God's grace is sufficient. And Jesus Christ has already gotten the victory for us. We're not waiting on a victory. We already have the victory. We are victors. We're not victims. We're victors. We're victorious in Christ Jesus. And that's the key. It's going to be in Christ, not in us. Because if you have Christ, you won't be in crisis. Too many people go through a crisis with themselves instead of with Christ. If you have Christ, as you walk into the crisis, the crisis won't last very long. It'll just be a moment. <laughs> so anyway, gang. Um, hope that helps you guys out this morning. I'm going to turn my coffee maker on so my wife and I can have some coffee this morning and get these kids up for this homeschool and online school and uh, just let Reba out, just work to my sermon. And um, But if you're going through something in that gang, if you're struggling, if you're having a hard time, 
Yeah, right now you've got to apply the Word of God. And it's not fun when life sucks at that time. But His grace is sufficient. Um, and the Bible also says, um, Corinthians says that nothing has come on to you that is not uh, that is uncommon to man. And then it says, but He will give you the grace to bear it up so that you won't uh, sin. So he's going to give you the grace to bear up what you're going through. And it's up to us to realize that, that he won't always deliver us from it, but he'll deliver us through it and to it. Okay? Uh, we sometimes want to live our lives free of pain and struggle. Jesus said in this world, we'll always have issues. Um, we'll, um, we'll always have opportunities to, to overcome. But when you're going through it, don't wish it would stop. It's going to sound kind of harsh. But be strong enough to withstand it. When you were three, you hated getting shots. Uh, if you hit your finger, you'd cry. But now that you're 43 or 33 or 23, uh, the shot may not bother you as much. Um, hitting your finger is going to hurt, but you won't cry and throw a fit. So we've got to become strong enough that when things happen, it hurts, but our response is different. All right? So I love you guys. Have a great day. And um, let's see here real quick. I'm, a... I'm so glad God made coffee. So... Here we go.